Nerf is just a neural network that represents a 3D volume of continuous points, which we'll call F. Here are the continuous points I was talking about. F takes as an input a position X and an orientation D, and outputs the colour and volume density emitted at that point X in the direction of D. So what does this mean? First, let's take our point X. Now, let's choose which direction we want to know the radiance of. We do this by specifying theta and phi. Once we have specified these parameters, we now have the radiance direction D. We enter X and D into the neural network and get the colour and volume density emitted from X along D. As NERF models objects in this way, view-dependent effects are maintained. For example, if we kept X the same but changed D, then a different colour and volume density can be observed. So this is a NERF, but how do we create one? Well, just as we train neural networks to recognise objects, e.g. ImageNet, we can teach them how to represent objects also. This is done by taking an image of the object which we want to reconstruct, let's call it I, and projecting a ray from its focal point through each pixel of the image and into the nerve. To be able to do this, we need to know the position, or pose, of each training image in relation to the object, which is done in a pre-processing step known as structure for motion. Once we've projected the ray, we sample at various points along it by taking the direction of the ray D and the position of each point X and entering them into the network, also known as forward propagation, to get a colour and volume density for each point. These points are then summated to predict a final colour for the pixel. Here we can see the input video for one of the previous nerfs. Each frame of the video is extracted and used to train the nerf.